Okay, good evening to Cancer Bridges General Weekly Group. Tonight we have Colleen Bortz, who is a wellness coordinator and se with seniors and a special population for the Sampson Family YMCA in Plum Borough. She has instructed fitness classes for 30 years, teaching everything from music and movement, you have to tell us about that, to three and four-year-olds, to strength balance circuit cardio, H2O, and senior sticks, to the senior population from Pampers to Depends. I like that. <laughs> and everything in between. Prior to working at the Y, Colleen trained instructor, instructors nationally for the Silver Sneakers program. She's been married to her husband, Greg, for 41 years and has two boys, Nick and Jake. Recently, she became a grandma to a grandson, Callan, and she's been working on her biceps for 30 years to hold her grandbabies. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's awesome. She is a breast cancer survivor and in her spare time paddles for the Hearts of Steel Dragon Boat Team for breast cancer survivors. So we want to welcome Colleen and I'm really excited to learn about something I don't really know anything about. So go ahead, take it away, Colleen. All right, thank you. Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming today. I really appreciate your time. I'm privileged by your time, so thank you much. Um, I, I have taught fitness for about 30 years. Uh, unfortunately, it was not my first job. I did another job for almost 30 years. <laughs> um, but I, I, most of my uh, career, I have worked with seniors um, and special populations. I also do some special uh, those with, uh, I work for a school called Clelian Heights. I'm not sure um, where everybody's from, but the Y that I'm from is in Plum Borough, but I'm part of the Greater Pittsburgh YMCA, which we have, some, we have a Y in the South Hills. We have a Y in, uh, we have Thelma Lovett. Um, we have several different Ys in our association. I happen to be working at the one in the, at, at the Plum Y. Um, uh, I've, I've taught, uh, everything from silver sneakers to balance classes uh, um, and to this drum class. And what I saw this drum class when I was traveling, na traveling nationally in uh, Minnesota, and it was behind these glass windows. And I was going in next to train instructors and I was like a caged animal. I was like, what is this? And what, how can I do, this? what do I, what can I do to, do this program. And what it is, it's called Drums Alive. I've, I've adapted it somewhat, so I call it sticks. Um, but we use stability balls and we place them on bases and um, we get drumsticks. So today, if you don't have that, you can certainly use pillows in a chair or a chair and some wooden spoons um, when we get moving. I have a few songs that we can just move around a little bit and do. Um, I've done this program for children. I've done it for special needs, and and I I I do it more. It's more choreographed what I do for the seniors. Uh, the benefits from this um, from doing this program or this drum program, of course, there's benefits to just doing fitness, right? Um, so we're getting you get the heart, you get the cardio, um, you get that emotional high, you get the social aspect where the people are coming and, you know, hanging out with each other. Uh, some of my seniors live alone and this is the only time they get to really, you know, get out and get around people. So it's, it's kind of cool. Um, again, it increases your heart rate and your blood flow. Uh, it synchronizes the brain waves in the brain to get the right, the right and the left going. It improves stuff on the right side and the left side. It gets the blood flowing. And we all know that blood heals our body and um, getting it flowing through the brain's good stuff. Uh, trying to think what else I'd like to tell you about the program. Um, I would also like to tell you, I am a recent uh, breast cancer survivor. It was a year that I rang the bell in May for me. Um, Uh-oh, I think she's frozen, or am I frozen? Can you guys hear me? Don't take anyone's advice, <laughs> right? Everybody's story is different. Um, I would tell you though, the thing that made me the maddest about 
about my chemo was I had lost all my hair and I still had chin hairs and mustache hairs. That's not fair. That was not right. <laughs> so, but keeping my sense of humor has helped me get through it. That's what my doctor said. You're the only one who can make me laugh before you go for chemo. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Do, do you have any questions? Uh, does anyone live local to the YMCA in Plum? No, where, where's, where's everybody from? I'm in Penn Hills. Oh, Penn Hills. That's fairly Penny local. Mm -hmm. Yeah. South Hills. South Hills. We do have a Y in the South Hills. Hmm. Yeah. Where? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Spencer family Y. I've been it's out in Park. I'm not sure where to tell you. It's by the ice rink. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I do remember that my boys were hockey players. I knew ice mm. ring. <laughs> mm. uh, any questions about the drumming or does everybody have stuff to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. We ready to move a little bit? Yep. All right. I'm going to back up. I'm going to use the ball, but like I said, you can use a pillow. You can use two drum or two, um, uh, wooden spoons, I suggest you hold the spoon part and drum with the ends. But if that's weird on the hands, then flip them around. All right, um, let me grab some music. I'm gonna shift back to, wasn't sure how to set this up. I might have to change my camera a little bit. I also am teaching online. I started teaching during the pandemic. Um, a bunch of young kids got me online. I'm going to shift this, pull this back a little bit. But in the beginning, they were all like, you need to do this and you need to do that. And I was like, you guys need to know. I, I put a cassette in a boom box the first class I taught. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, wow. <laughs> That's good, Colleen. We can see pretty well. Is that good? Yeah. Okay, great. Let me put the music on. I will ask you about the volume for a second. Will you be able to hear my petite voice? <laughs> <laughs> it's good for me. How about you guys? Thumbs up. All right, let me get the sticks. So the first what, first song we're going to do is Mambo number five. And in Mambo number five, I'm just going to get you warmed up. And you're gonna we're going to just do the beat. Like one, two, one, two, three. All right, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna change it around. Like maybe right, right, left, left, left. Make you think a little bit. Get the blood flowing.
you can't go to the floor, do the legs in the chair. Gives me the squats. <laughs> Is that the right side for you guys? Is is this the right side for you guys? This is my right. All right, because <laughs> sometimes it's flipped <laughs> when you're on the screen. I should. I was like, make sure you ask that. Make sure I didn't. All right. Next song's gonna be a little bit of um. We're gonna make one hand do one thing and the other hand do something else. We'll be making our th making us think with both sides of the brain. Colleen, can I ask a question before you go? This is fascinating to me. This is amazing. So, Thank you. So tell me, so this actually does, it incorporates physical activity with, you know, the beats yes. of heart, right? So it actually- So in my class, I have seated and standing people. And then normally when I do it with the seniors, we line rows of balls up and we get on every other ball so that we have our, our center ball and then we share the balls beside us. Okay. So we might go to the ball on the right and then center and then ball on the left. And we may add things like, um, it's hard to see me this way, but we may add like knees. That, that's awesome. I mean, that's the way of using rhythm and exercise together. I've never seen anything like this in all my life. It's fascinating. I, I love it. That's how I was when I saw it back in the thing. I was like, how do I get in there? So, yeah, and it, it's a lot of, it's, it's it's fun when you're in a room and everybody's drumming with you and we're all doing the same thing. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. People come in and they'll say to me, I just want you to know I'm not a I'm not a drummer. I'm like, hey, me either. <laughs> it's all everything. I, I here's my thing with most of my classes that I do. There's no right, there's no wrong unless you don't laugh at my jokes. That's just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Does anybody else have any questions right now? I know we can ask questions afterwards, but any questions you guys have of Colleen? Oh, we ready to do again? Go again? Sounds All right. Good. All right. So this song is Roll Off the Barrel. It is my squat track. So if you're not bending down or you're seated, instead of going to the floor, you can go to the legs of your chair. Okay. Or if your sticks reach the floor. Oh, I'm lying. This is not, this is hand-eye coordination. Sorry. Next one. All right. You're hit the, the other stick rolls around your head. So I'm gonna 
show you what it would look like if we were out moving. Other way, switch. Switch again. Now give me two and two. Can you, Colleen, can you turn it up turn the just a little bit? Pardon me? So can you turn the music up a little bit? Ah, yes. <laughs> That's not always good. You won't have trouble hearing my petite voice. <laughs> That's good. All right, side of the ball. Whoops.
Song, right yeah that's great yeah all right so heart rate should be up on that one especially with clicking our hands over our heads i'll get the heart rate up all right so what i'm going to do now is we're going to go from one song to another how why are we on time good we'll go from one song to another that'll lead into and i'm going to do a, like a little routine i'll we'll practice it We'll do it over again. We'll add some new parts. We'll start it over again. Um, yeah, any questions? Oh, we're good. All right. Right center, four, three, down to the left. 
left. Left side. Two front, two top. Double cross. Two out, two in. Now singles. Let's do that again. Two front, two top. Double cross.
jumps coming on. So this one is going to be faster. And what we're going to do with this, this is Wipeout. Good song for drumming, right? So what we're going to do with Wipeout is it, it will be much faster than what we've been drumming to. I'll just cue like the two front, two tops like we were doing. And then at some point, we're going to go into the rumble. When it'll come, you'll, you'll know it from the song, but we'll rumble. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You do that four times. Here's what you're thinking. You're trying to get that seven and eight out. It gets tough. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. You do that four times. Then we'll do bop, two, three, bop, two, three, bop, two, three, boom, boom, boom. Bop, two, three, bop, two, three, bop, two, three, boom, boom, boom. Then we'll do whatever I yell out because I'm the leader. <laughs> and then we'll do that again, that rumble. Um, and then we'll do it one more time. So we'll do that rumble set that three times. This is a real heart rate raiser. We usually use it at the end of class. Um, again, um, the goal is when we're doing those fast ones to get that seven and eight out. Get that because you start getting slower. I do myself, especially when I'm yelling. <laughs> All right. So wipe out. questions no i'm gonna stop calling i'm gonna stop the um the spotlight from you and stop the recording so we can talk a little bit because that was sure. just amazing